What's going on guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at ya with another Lords mobile video. And today guys, somewhat of an account update with regards to the recent update yesterday and the one before. So I've been doing a few bits on my account over the last couple of days. Uh, first of all, as you can see, I went ahead and got the new castle skin. I was always going to get this <laughs> because I really like the design. I haven't got no castle stars on it just yet because I'm lacking star scrolls, which I'll fix soon. But um, yeah, the, the skin looks awesome. Not only that, but TWK have actually really gone for it too. <laughs> I think we're going to rename ourselves the Blue Eagles or something because as you can see, bunches of the players inside the guild <laughs> i've actually gone ahead and done it funny thing actually yesterday we put eagle's nest there and like half the fan ported around with all their blue castles it was really really funny um so yeah loads and loads of people have got the castle skin it's really really cool it looks awesome uh, whoever designed that at igg give them a pay rise because my goodness that is one hell of a castle design very very nice indeed um, okay, so yeah, castle skin done. That's pretty good. Now, as you can tell from the title of the video, I also done something else yesterday. Uh, Worthy done an oopsie. <laughs> and maxed out the Chronicler. <laughs> as you can see, she is gold. Let's get it in the top left hand corner. Day one maxed gold hero. Um, cost wise, I know you guys are like, how much did it cost? Um, probably about 1300 something like that 1325 1350 somewhere around that region I know it's not cheap right but it is done and at least I haven't got to actually worry about it no more uh, so there we go maxed hero I'm actually really chuffed about that um, it's got really good boosts and I know how much damage these counter boosts do and to add an extra 15% I definitely couldn't say no uh, to add in there. Look how happy she is to be here. <laughs> so let me just jump into this. As you can see, I, I went through this the other day, so I don't need to go too much into it. As you know, 15% counter boost. On top of the research, on top of the Jade Worm, it's going to be a total of 60% counter boost. My goodness, it's going to hit like a freight train once we get a good counter hit. Um, in this video, though, I'm going to be going over some of the hero skills. We're going to try her out in Colosseum. I want to see what that looks like. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of monster hunting with her as well. And I'm going to take her into a hero stage to see what she's like. So sit back and relax because we're going to do a little bit of testing with this today. And uh, get through it all. So that should be pretty good. Also, before we start working with the Chronicler on this video. Oh, can I can never pronounce her name right. Chronicler. What, what can I call her as a short... You know what? I'm just going to call her Lisa. That's it. From now on, you will be known as Lisa. I'm not calling you Chronicler because it, it just doesn't come off the tongue quick enough or properly enough. Try saying Chronicler 10 times really fast. Chronicler, Chronicler, Chronicler. <laughs> you, you can't do it. <laughs> anyway, look what else I've done. Bit of an account update today. I went ahead and got all of my Jade Worm packs. In fact, I think I got one too many. <laughs> Actually, I think I needed to to get, to get it to that. I, I don't know. I think I was like six packs short. So I just went ahead and got it. You know, I know, whatever. Anyway, I've got finished on 229 medals, and uh, yeah, I've got the medals to take the Jade Worm to Elder status. At the moment, it's in training. I do need to get some more like EXP bottles or, or something, because I'm out completely. I'm building up my fragments, I'm starting to collect the merging packs. I'm, I'm only merging packs on Chaos Hell events, or um, Watcher, Watcher mergers, or just general merge Hell events. I want to try and get some rewards for doing all this merging, so... Plus, it's been Guild Fest, but I've, I've kind of finished that. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm trying to get some bonus prizes from merging these fragments. Because they're not cheap to merge, alright? Especially the pack 4s. But anyway, this will be really good when I get this done. It's going to take a little bit of time, actually, to get these skills maxed out. But when they are done, that'll be another 15%. So, at least I've got the actual ability to get it to Elder and start working on the skills. So, really good stuff. Jade Worm on the way as well. So... As far as recent updates are concerned, the research is also complete as well. Uh, so there it is, done, as well as the new Furious ones. So that's all done. New Hero done, and Jade Worm being worked on. So yeah, to be honest with you, I'm looking pretty good. Need to get some Star Scrolls for this uh, castle skin, but ultimately, keeping on top of the new updates, which is what I like to see. Very good stuff. My, um, my wallet's not liking it too much, but it is what it is. Anyway. <laughs> We knew what we were getting ourselves into when we started playing. That's all I'll say. Anyway, so let's get into this. The Chronicler. Uh, first of all, I think we should probably try her out in Colosseum. Now, I'm not really that high up in fact. Actually, but look. Okay, that's interesting. It's a Demon Slayer team. Ooh. 
that could be pretty devastating for us. She tends to work really well with magic heroes because I don't know if you remember her abilities from the previous video. She um, she basically has loads of cool magic abilities and I really think it'll be good to put her with magic heroes. Let's see if we can find a team that doesn't have Demon Slayer in it. I know it might be a bit of a mission, but everyone uses Demon Slayer. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Okay, look, there's one here. Okay, this is interesting. Big guy up front. Okay. Let's try this team here. As you can see, I've been playing around with it. Now, something I said the other day would be really cool is to put Rose Knight and Chronicler together. Just because Rose Knight's ultimate is really similar to something that Chronicler does with that bird. It fires it out and hits a few enemies at the same time. So we're going to try Rose Knight with Chronicler. And then we're going to go for Law Weaver. We need a healer, of course. And then I'm going to put some magic heroes in. So we're going to go for Petite Devil. And who else shall I use? Maybe I could use Sage of Storms. I'm sure he's got an ability that boosts people's magic. Possibly. Or we could go for Incinerator and go full magic damage. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Let's go for... Ooh, let's go for Incinerator, I think. Let's just try that out and see how that works. That's a bit of a squishy team. We'll see what happens. Pretty heavy magic. Let's see what she does. So, I'm looking for her ultimate as well. She paints a picture that does long range damage. She skips into battle. Okay, she fires off. There comes the bird. There goes the bird. Look, hitting about five or six enemies at the sort of once there. Pretty good stuff. Rose Knight holding off. Good. She's like, Incinerator got clapped. Okay, nice big heal coming in from Law Weaver. There comes the ultimate. Big hit from Rose Knight. There's the painting. Look at it going across the screen. Look at that. And a nice long pattern takes out Big Guy. Big stun from Petite Devil. She's, she's holding up. Her life is holding up. I like it. Can they take out Rose Knight? That's going to be the problem here. Can they do it? Petite, it looks like Petite Devil's going to go down. Big stun from Rose Knight. Oh my god. Big heal from Law Weaver. The clutch. Taken out of the, taking out the Rose Knight gives us a really good position here. Oh, Tracker. She ain't going to be able to take out Rose Knight on her own. I think we got it. Look at that. That was pretty good. She actually done a really good job there. She's her ultimate procced and it completely wiped out the big guy, which was really, really good. So, hey, I mean, she ain't that bad. <laughs> you put her with the right hero. She's pretty good. I do think if we go up against a Demon Slayer team, Demon Slayer is just going to jump at the back and literally destroy her. Let's see what happens against Demon Slayer. Let's find it. We've got to see the difference. Okay, look, here's a Demon Slayer team. Although they're rank 7. Let's get a rank 8 team if we can. Got to try and make it fair, right? Ooh, that team looks a bit sketch. I'll tell you what, let's go for that one. Scarlet Bolts and Assassin. So is Shade. Interesting, interesting. Um, do I want to change out this Incinerator? I might do. I might put Sage of Storms in, you know. Actually, no, let's just keep it the same. Let's just keep it the same. Let's fire this off and see what happens. So, again, just going to do another test. I just want to see if she can perform well two games in a row in Colosseum. I like the way she skips forward. She's not too slow. Nice attack on the front Berserker. She's going to fire that little birdie off. There it goes. Oh, where's the bird? Did she fire the bird yet? I don't think I've seen it yet. She's just painting the pick. There it goes. There's the bird. Off it goes, doing loads of damage. In fact, it took out the Berserker, which is really good. Because the Petite Devil goes down quick this time. There's the ultimate. Painting that picture straight down the middle. Calls it massive damage. Shade gets melted in the middle. That Rose Knight again is going to cause some issues. But we've still got quite a few heroes standing. Incinerator causing pretty good damage. I see her getting hit by like Rose, the Rose Knight's ultimate. But it's not really taking too much damage off her. Her resistance is really good. There goes the bird. Bouncing backwards and forwards. See it? That yellow bird. There's her ultimate. Taking out Rose Knight and Law Weaver. But Law Weaver gets a healing. Law Weaver didn't heal herself though, so maybe that's going to be the downfall here. Here we go, it is. Look, there goes Rose Knight's ultimate. Bouncing between the two, takes out the Law Weaver. Just going to be the Rose Knight left. I think we can do this now. There's that medium area damage pa painting on the floor that's spinning around. Does quite a good amount of damage, that one there. And she's going to finish off with the ultimate. Here comes the picture. Boom! Massive magic damage. She survives again against a two assassin team. And the magic squad wins again. Are magic teams on the rise because of the Chronicler? Uh, no, no, don't call her that. Lisa. Is, Li <laughs> is Lisa going to make magic teams great again? I don't know, but we still haven't tested against a Demon Slayer. But I'll leave that up to you guys when you get to it. But we've played against a couple of teams. And in a good magic squad, Rose Knight, Law Weaver, good heroes to put with her. She works really, really well. So I'm actually quite impressed with uh, Lisa there. She looks pretty good. Um, let's test her out on monster hunting. I don't really know the best kind of effective way to do this. Have we got a monster out right now that's like weak against magic heroes? 
Then we've got Frostwing and... Oh, they're both like... Oh, these ones both require physical heroes. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Really quite annoying, actually, because both of these heroes, both of these monsters, generally speaking, you would use an assassin team against both the Frostwing and the Helldrider, so there's not really a monster out today which you can actually get a good test of this on. So I'll tell you what, guys, I think we'll probably just hold back the monster hunting for now. Should we hold it back? Should we, should we just use her anyway and see if she survives? I don't know. I want to kind of test it out, to be honest. It's probably not the best scenario, though. Let's find a level 4. Let's find a level 4 and just do it and see what happens. Alright, we're going to pull over here. Alright, so I'm going to use my monster. Do I use my monster gear on this? Yeah, I use my monster gear, right? Oh, that's another thing. I managed to upgrade a piece of my monster gear. I now have almost full mythic monster gear. I've got the main hand done. It's just the helmet uh, left to do. I'm really close, too. Look. I've got two golds out of the three. I need some members. But yeah, my monster gear is almost full mythic now, which is pretty good stuff. Okay, so again, you wouldn't really use her against this monster. It's a real shame we haven't got a magic one available. See, look, this is the team you use. <laughs> Let's just take out... I'm going to use a physical team. Let's just take out, like, Scarlet Bolt and just put her in and see if she can survive a round. I don't know. Just want to see what she does. It's not going to do as much damage, I don't think. 20%. Nah, it's okay. Not a big hit. Just want to see if she survives. I want to see if the life leech actually works. So I've got a bunch of gems out of that though. Hell yeah. Give me those gems. Okay, let me have a look at the battle and see what goes on here. I just want to see if she kind of uses life leech. Because she does have it on her skills. Like, you see them green arrow, the, the green bits above her? Like the plus? It's given her HP. So she shouldn't really lose too much. Let's see, how much, see if Helldrider's going to attack. Helldrider's not even attacking her. He's attacking Demon Slayer. Oh, she's losing a little bit of life now. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. A health shield go back. There goes a health again. Shooting back up again. She's going to be good for monster hunting. I'm telling you now, guys. She is going to be good for monster hunting. She's going to be a great monster hunting hero because she generates so much HP. Look at all those HP she's generating. Massive amounts of HP she's generating right now. And she ain't dying. Which is really, really good. It means that if you go up against a magic monster, she is just going to keep living all the way through the battle. She's not going to die. Massive amounts of life leech is going to be awesome for her. She should sustain the battle and do some good damage. So, yeah, as far as your magic team goes against monsters, I definitely will be trying her out. I'm going to do a separate video when a decent magic monster comes out. But that hero right there is very good for monster hunting. I'm telling you. Very, very good indeed. Um, so the last thing I really want to do here is just kind of test her out in like a hero stage and to see what it's like playing with her. Be good if we had the challenge stages up. Let's find uh, something on normal. Let's go for, I don't know. Let's go for like, I don't know. Which one should I choose? This one? Let's go for a, oh, I sweeped it. Oops, wrong button. Fight. Okay, so let's take out Bobbing Goblin. Let's put her in. And uh, that looks like a pretty good free-to-play team right there. Actually, I might take that one out and put a uh, tracker in. Let's go for that. All right. Let's see how this goes. I want to use her ability myself. So let's take out these first few creatures. I like the little birdie she fires. Oh, there it oh my god, that bird just killed everyone. <laughs> Did you see that? She fired out that little yellow bird. It just bounced between them all and killed them all. That's pretty cool. Okay, she goes again. I got her ultimate now. Let's fire off. That's what her ultimate looks like. You see, you get that like rectangle, long range rectangle. Gonna aim it over the whole group here and boom. Massive damage. Then she fires off that medium area effect damage straight after that painting that spins. I mean, they got absolutely clapped. She's really good. I like this hero. I'm a big fan of this one. And then look, another big painting going down the middle. Absolutely doing huge damage. We'll do a big stun. Rose Knight. Fire that off at the back. There you go. This one's over before it began. Straight away, she just goes in and just causes massive, massive damage. So yeah, to be honest with you, Chronicle's really good. And she's healing as well. The life leech. She's healing as well as she's going along. Really good. Good monster hunting hero. Although we didn't quite get the monster we wanted to test it on today. She is definitely going to be in, like, you know on Hefbot when you go on lineup and stuff. She's going she's gonna to appear in your pay to play um, monster lineups. Absolutely. Because she's an awesome monster hunting hero. She's good in hero stages because she has the life leech. And she causes massive damage on medium effect area. And in a big long line. She's going to be really good on the hero stages. Um, in Colosseum, she seems to be really good with um, with like your magic team. 
Uh, I don't know about being on a physical team because she is really magic orientated. So uh, I think better off being with a magic team personally. But you can test it and trial it with different teams as, as you see fit. Um, and then of course, as a hero itself, she's got all those counter boosts. Um, so she has loads to offer. I think for value for money wise, I think you're actually getting a lot for your money. Uh, rather than just the counter boosts. So if you're a rally lead and you're thinking, oh my god, another hero, don't fret, because she's actually got a few multiple uses for you to use. So, yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with the purchase and looking forward to uh, trying out the counter boost with the rallies to come. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought I hope it was informative for you and you got some info out of it. I'll, again, I'll come at you with like a live stream or something, testing out this uh, monster hunting in a bit more detail when the magic monsters come out. But for now, that'll be the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a nice big fat like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll be back at you really soon. But until the next time, stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.